Hey everybody, Free t shirt Dan, yeah? And the original Collect Car. Coming to you from outside recording studios. Why outside, you may ask? Because it's hot as a Hellcat. <laughs> right, so today we're reviewing an album from the Hellcats called Cotton Full of B-Sides. Yeah, we're big fans of the Hellcats, not only because they played at our fifth birthday party last year, thanks guys, uh, but also because they also generally just rock out. Generally rock out. So, with that said, let's go on to the album. What did you think of it? I really enjoyed this album. Even though I've seen this band play so many times, it is always still so surprising to be reminded that this wave of sound comes from just two very talented musicians. <laughs> right, this album has the sound that we've come to expect from the Hellcats, that kind of bluesy, dirty rock and roll vibe. Um, sometimes it's so dirty, in fact, that you feel like you may need a shower after listening <laughs> to it, and especially more so after seeing some of Warwick's facial expressions on stage. <laughs> what did you think? Listening to this album and also thinking about the previous four EPs released, I can't imagine what it was like being in the studio with Lemon Lock during the production of this album and trying to pick which songs go on which album. Because all nine songs on B-Sides definitely hold their own and could definitely have featured on any of the other songs. Now, saying that, we need to pick a favorite song. I'm going to let you go first on that. All right, if I had to pick a favorite of B-Sides, I would have to say Stone In My Heart. I like the way this one starts off really slow and then just kicks in. So for me, I'm going to be that guy and say I can't really pick one single song, but if you had to put me in a coffin full of Hellcats, I'm going to have to choose Codeine. Why? Because I'm in a coffin full of Hellcats. <laughs> There's no other reason. <laughs> cool. Alright, so onto the album artwork. Yeah, these sides was done by Christy Dutoy. Um, I thought it was really cool how it was a continuation of the artwork on Coffin's Fall. And I think also just brings a bit of closure to the series of uh, EPs and now B-sides. Yeah, all four of those EPs had awesome artwork as well, um, including this one. So our copy of the album came on this little booty. <gasps> oh, there's no Alcats. <laughs> so thanks guys for that. Cool little marketing tool from the band. Before we go into ratings, this is one question I have to ask. We've gone through four EPs, we're on to B-sides, we definitely need more Hellcats, but I have one burning question. Are there enough coffins? Are we getting more coffins of Hellcats, guys? We need to know. Okay, on to the ratings. I'm going to give this, my maths isn't too good today, huh? 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 eight horns out of ten. Um, yeah, these guys, again, this B-size, I think, just you know, ends the whole coffin series fantastically. From 50s types of blues rocks through to 60s and the, you know, the more psychedelic sounds to 70s hard rock. It really is a journey that you go on on B side. It's really awesome. So thanks guys and well done. I have to agree with you there about the, the 70s vibe that comes through from the Hellcats. Sometimes when listening to them you feel like you've just jumped into a time machine and you're now standing in a spot of sunlight in 1973. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Really, really enjoyed B sides. Really enjoyed the four EPs that came before this. And we're looking forward to seeing more Hellcats. <laughs> And that's it, guys. And remember, go out there and support local music. Get off the couch, go and see some live shows, buy the albums, buy the merch, <laughs> support local music. Cool, guys. Cheers. Bye.